Tomorrow, voters head back to the polls in South Carolina for the primary, but how they do that will be different, of course. Our South Carolina Bureau reporter Greg Suskin lays out the changes, including a Q-tip at the polls. When voters show up tomorrow, they'll get their ballot and one of these. They simply just take it and push it on the computer screen to cast their vote. Then you can immediately throw it away. But this is just one small example of how COVID-19 is changing this primary election. Thanks. There are bigger examples. Half of your county's poll workers decided to sit this one out. Many are seniors concerned about catching the coronavirus, so they're short on help at some precincts. Kathy Queen is a poll worker, and, and she'll and be there. There's an awful lot of folks that just really want to come to an actual polling site and vote. And so it's an honor to be able to be there and, and help them vote. Low turnout is expected, partly because thousands already voted absentee when the state lifted restrictions due to the pandemic. Others are concerned about being in public and standing in line. Elections officials are taking lots of extra steps. Sneeze guards, masks, gloves, uh, disinfectants, uh, alcohol wipes, uh, a whole host of supplies. We saw all that on display as absentee voters came in to cast ballots. Poll workers are required to wear gloves and masks. Voters are encouraged to wear masks as well. No problem for Kerwin Seaman. It's a matter of safety wearing a mask. Right? I, that's what everybody should be doing to protect themselves. Signs and red dots down the hallway mark spots for social distancing, and you'll find a similar setup at every polling place in the state. Voters won't even touch the computer screen, and there's hand sanitizer nearby. Keep in mind that where you vote may have changed. They did not just lose poll workers, but also some precincts. A few churches and community centers decided they did not want to host people inside their buildings because of COVID-19, so they had to consolidate a few precincts. Make sure you check the website in your county to see if your precinct has been moved. Back to you. Absentee ballots will be counted as long as they arrive at your local Board of Elections office by the time the polls close tomorrow night.